makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash with Alan Reed as Pasquale. friends, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a typically American product that appeals to people of all ages and nationalities in all parts of our country. And the Wrigley people feel that Life with Luigi is a typically American radio program, a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So the makers of refreshing, delicious Wrigley Spearmint Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half-hour's entertainment. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mama Mia, in this letter I'm sending you some picture postcards of this beautiful country, America. First the pictures to show you Grand Canyon. It's wonderful, huh? The Grand Canyon of Mamma Mia is in Arizona. That's where they got a cowboy. Anyway, if you look at a postcard, it's to say, Bird's Eye View. Mamma Mia. Only in a smart country like America can they train the birds to take pictures. <laughs> the next the picture is to show you Death Valley at Cine, California. Is it the lowest point in the United States? 276 feet below sea level. Mamma mia, don't ask me how people is to live under the sea. I'm a don't know. <laughs> First card after that is to show you a lot of water. And it says, a built at the cost of $165 million, Hoover the Dam, formerly Boulder Dam. Huh. I guess uh, Mr. Boulder is a no cool to keep up his payment, so he's a soul as a dam to Mr. Hoover. <laughs> And the last the pictures to show you Niagara Falls. Over there, if you ain't married, they don't let you in. <laughs> and a funny thing, my friend Schultz, he's a say, if you are married, you don't want to go. Anyway, once every week, Pasquale sends me a picture of Niagara Falls and a picture of his daughter, Rosa. And on the back, he's a writer. Well... <laughs> Come on, Mamma if I'm gonna marry his fat daughter to see Niagara Falls, I think I'm gonna stay single and see Death the Valley. <laughs> well, how you like America, Mamma Mia? It's a beautiful, you know? I'm gonna think I would have traveled all over the country, funny for one thing. I'm got a night school teacher, Miss Spalding, who's, who's a just as a beautiful. So before I'm gonna travel anywhere, I'm gonna travel right to my night school. America, I love you. You like a papa to me, from ocean to ocean. All right, class, let's get on with the lesson, please. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Uh, present. Mr. Howard? Present. Mr. Olson? Present. Mr. Schultz? It's obvious. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, fellow boobies. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, it's obvious that you're what? Present. Oh, she tricked me into saying it anyway. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can't trick you into getting some correct answers. Now, today we're reviewing some general facts about the United States. Mr. Schultz, you may tell us the area of the United States. What do you mean, I may? You mean I got a choice? Miss <laughs> Paulding, may I venture to give you the answer? Well, I wish you would, Mr. Horowitz. Thank you. The area of the United States has got about three million miles. Very good. Now, will uh, you Just la one moment, Miss Paulding. Uh, correction, if you please. Correction? You bet you. I happen to know the exact figure. There was 3,022,387 square miles. A square statement from a square hat. <laughs> don't, don't try to be so funny. 
Uh, thank you, Mr. Olson. However, for our purposes, we'll accept three million miles as correct. Nevertheless, there was three million twenty-two thousand three hundred and eighty-seven. <laughs> Himmel, the way he worries about that extra piece of land, you'd think he was a real estate broker. <laughs> that so happens, Mr. Schultz. That extra piece of land is just about the size of West Virginia. Oh, now he's a tobacco planter. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, will you stop it? Now, who can tell us the population of the United States? Mr. Horowitz? 140 million. Um, Mr. Basco? I'm a sorry, Miss Spalding. These birds do not take pictures of all the people. <laughs> birds? Uh, well, uh, Mr. Schultz. It's, uh, it's more than 140 million. Could you give us an exact figure? Uh, 150 million. <laughs> excellent, Mr. Schultz. Excellent. <laughs> you see, Olsen, what it takes you six hours to memorize, I guess in two seconds. <laughs> Much as I hate to contradict you, Mr. Schultz's figure is far from the truth. According to the latest report, our population is now 152,281,159. All right, Olsen, so I left out two million. What's so bad about that? There so happens there are two million people in the state of West Virginia. Yeah. Himmel, is West Virginia taking a beating today? <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Balding. I, I can understand how Olsen is a no exact square miles the United States has got. To, but how he's a no exactly the people? Uh, Luigi, that was very simple. My figures are taken from the latest census. Census? What's that? Luigi, that's something that's done every ten years. We take the census in the spring. Oh, oh. Mr. Basco, I'm surprised. A few months ago, the government set aside one week, during which time every person was counted and included in the total population of the United States. Oh, Mamma Mia. What's the matter, Luigi? What's well, I'm, I'm a wasn't accounted. Huh? No. Are you sure, Mr. Basco? Yeah. Don't you remember anyone coming around and asking you your name and how old you are, etc.? No, 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 no. I'm a sure, Miss Spalding. Oh, that's the worst thing that's happened to me. America is left to me out. Luigi, Luigi, <laughs> Luigi, take it easy. You ain't left out. And what if you wasn't counted in 1950? Wait until 1960 and make them count you twice. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, that, that doesn't mean very much. Uh, uh, no, 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 you, you can talk. Because, because you are a citizen. You know, you know what it meant? To me, when you was all able to vote, and I'm, I had to stand outside and watch you, when you was uh, gone in, and I could, I'm uh, gotta go. Mr. Vasco, where are you going? I'm uh, gotta do something I can't stand it. When the people talk about a population of the United States, they ain't talking about everybody but to me. <laughs> but you don't no, understand. No, no, no. I'm uh, gonna change oh, it. Oh, now, no, 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 Mr. Vasco. No, please, no, please, no, don't stop me. Don't stop me. I'm uh, gotta think of something. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, gotta be counted. I'm uh, gotta be. Strange thing. What do you suppose will happen? It's simple, Olsen. Either he's going to get counted or he's going to have to move to West Virginia. <laughs> Mamma mia, everybody in the country is a counted except to me. I'm left out. Watch where you're going. Huh? You stepped right in front of that car. Your number was almost up. My number? Impossible. I'm a wasn't a can and I'm a got to no number. What? Please, please, Mr. Officer. Please, where am I going to go to get counted? Well, the way you're stumbling around, you might try the morgue. Look, go on home, son. Son, will you go on? What am I going to do? I'm a got I'm a got to be counted. I'm a got to. Hey, bud. You got a quarter on you. <laughs> I'm down and out. Down and out? That's right. I'm worse off than anybody else in the country. No, no, you're not. I'm more worse off than you. Hey, wait a minute. I'm working this street. <laughs> no, 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 mister. I'm not in the mean that. Huh? I, I was just asking. Yeah? Was it you counted by the census? Look, friend, I'll answer any questions for a quarter. Honest, it ain't for drinking. I don't touch the stuff. Uh, I need it for a night's lodging. 
All right, uh, here. I know you bite off. Oh, thanks, boss. That's all right. Uh, tell me something, huh? Yeah. Was you included in the population? Sure, I was counted. Everybody gets counted, even bums like me. Uh, what's the matter? I'm was in the counted. <laughs> so what? Uh, I'm a here. You know I'm a here, and I'm a know I'm a here. But as far as the rest of the United States is known, nobody knows I'm a here. Look, Bud, you better take back your quarter. You need that drink more than I do. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hey, Pasquale, I'm, I'm going to ask you... Wait a minute. Sit down. Take easy. Relapse. <laughs> Just look at you. Face all red and perspired, hair all a must up, the shoes are stepped all over, tie around your neck. Luigi, since when do you play the tackle for Notre Dame? <laughs> no, Pasquale, I, I was uh, walking all over. I'm, I'm uh, no nowhere. I'm, I'm all uh, mixed up. I'm, I'm in a terrible uh, trouble. Trouble? Yeah. I'm, I'm a was in a home when a census of men is a coming to count me. So, so I was in a home. And now I'm in a country, and yet I'm a not here. Oh, Luigi, no doubts about it. You've got hallucinations. Hallucinations? What's that? Hallucinations. Your poor little brain is a come loose. That's to give you hallucinations. <laughs> no, 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 Pasquale. Is it the census? That's what I said. Your census is a gone too. <laughs> Pasquale, you're mixing me all up. I'm, I'm talking about the population of census. Fella must have come into my store when I wasn't in. I'm a wasn't in. He's an economy. Now I'm a left out of America. Oh, so that's it. Uh, a national census. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, listen, Luigi, don't worry about it. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe you was a counter and you don't know it. And then I'm going to find out. Uh, then maybe you wasn't a counter. Then I'm going to fix it. Uh, listen, Luigi, you're fooling around with a dynamite. If I was you, I would have kept it quiet. No. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to the government building now and wait, I'm going to... Wait, 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 to Luigi. Uh, uh, I know where you should go. Are you do? Yes. Now, listen. If you ain't accounted, you ain't here, right? Right. And if you ain't here, you miss it, right? Right. Then if you miss it, there's only one place to go. Where? Bureau of Missing Persons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pasquale. Hey, why am I not thought of that, huh? Why? <laughs> because of my head is all a brain, that's why. <laughs> not a one a bit of fat, all a bone. <laughs> that's right, Pasquale. You biggest of bone head I know. <laughs> that's a funny thing. When I'm a say it, it's a come out of different. <laughs> Pasquale. Pasquale, you, you think a day gonna fix me up? Oh, sure. You ever see these guys in the army? They walk around with the helmets and the clubs, uh, and on their sleeve it's a printed MP. Well, uh, Luigi, those fellas was once a missing. They was it? Sure, the MP. That's a standard for missing a person. <laughs> oh, that's a standard for. Oh, and at the end of the day, was a found, huh? No, they was a drafted. Oh. <laughs> well, well, thank you, Pasquale. You wonderful. I'm going to write them out to the bureau. I'm missing the persons and I get a found again. Go, go, little pumpkin ahead. Go. All right, go. goodbye, Pasquale. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Ooh, what a stupid green heart of boob. He said, believe me, how stupid can a man be? <laughs> MPs are mean and missing the persons. <laughs> He don't even know it's a mean a maiden of Pennsylvania. <laughs> Before we return to life with Luigi, we'd like to put in a word about delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. When you're busy at your job or working around your home, you don't have to take time out. Just slip a stick of refreshing Wrigley Spearmint into your mouth and go right on with your work. The smooth, easy chewing gives you a lot of satisfaction, helps keep you from feeling tense, and makes your work seem easier and pleasanter. Then, too, the lively, real Spearmint flavor leaves a clean, fresh taste in your mouth. 
It's refreshing and delicious. So chew Wrigley Spearmint Gum while you work. You'll work better, feel better, and get more satisfaction out of what you're doing. So next time you go shopping, get a few packages of healthful, refreshing Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum. Now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, I was in a terrible trouble until Pasquale used to tell me got to bureau missing persons and I get to myself a canard. Imagine if I'm not do that, what it would be? Teacher would ask a little boy in a school, what's the population of the United States? And a little boy is a got to say, 152,271,159, not the counting of Luigi Basco. <laughs> well, I'm going to stop it at the right now and I'll go to the bureau. Yes, sir. Uh, can I help you? Oh, uh, excuse me, please. Is this the bureau of a missing person? Sir? Yes. Well, I'm a missing. <laughs> oh, uh, amnesia? Uh, no, Italian. <laughs> oh, good, good. Every little bit helps. Uh, uh, sit down, won't you? Uh, sure, sure. I'm going to uh, do anything. Oh, honey, I'm a donor want to be left out. Yes, I know. There's no feeling in the world like that left out feeling. Oh, you, you're so right. Uh, now, tell me, Jack. My name is not Jack. Good. Now, now keep trying to remember. Is it Sam? No. <laughs> Harry? No. John? No. Bob? No. Is your name a Bob? No. John? No. Harry? No. Jack? No. Now, then, wait a minute. <laughs> now, look, I'm supposed to be asking the questions here. All right. Now, tell me, have you any idea what your name could be? Yes, uh, Luigi Basco. Well, what makes you think so? Because that's uh, my name. <laughs> that's your name. Well, why didn't you say so before? Oh, I'm a thought that you wanted to play games. <laughs> <laughs> I think this guy's psycho. No, not the psycho, Basco. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, now, keep trying to remember. Do you live someplace in Chicago? Yes, at 21 North the Hollister Street. Uh, good, 21... No! Say, did you know your name and address before you came in here? Sure. Well, who are you? Mamma mia, now even you don't know. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Mr. Basco. <laughs> All right. Come here. I want to show you the door. Oh, that's a looking nice. And that's the street. That's a nice, too. That's a not so nice. <laughs> Luigi, when you going around acting fresh, then there's nothing I can help you with. Yeah, but Pasquale, I'm a went to back in and explain to what I'm after, and he's a still a throw me out. That must have been the wrong place. No, no, Luigi, but it's a proof of one thing. What? You ain't missing no more. Now, if you ain't missing, then you's a found, right? That's right. All right, you is a found, but the government is a lost to you, right? Right. Then the only other place for you to go is to the lost or the found. Huh? Oh, hello, Luigi. Hello, Pashkwan. Oh, hello, Schultz. Uh, Schultz, uh, huh? excuse us, please. Luigi and me, we're discussing a very important thing. Oh, you are, huh? Hmm, Luigi, what happened with you and the Zenthus? Uh, Schultz, please. Uh, well, Pasquale, uh, he's a sending me down to missing a person, but they because of the name in the Jack and I had it thrown me out and I don't see nobody in the Pasquale that says I'm a no Luigi because they don't account to me, Luigi. <laughs> Oh, you scheming, Pasquale. Have you got this poor little Wiener schnitzel for shimmers? <laughs> Listen, Mr. Delicatessen, man. Go back to your store and get your thumb. You left it on the scale. <laughs> Is that so? Well, I'd rather have my thumb on the scale than your daughter, Rosa. <laughs> hey, Luigi, if you want to straighten out anything about the census, you go to the census bureau. Yes, sir. What the... 
There is such a bureau? Sure, there is. Miss Quelly, if you know this, why you don't tell me that before? Luigi, you believe everything the Schultz is telling you? But then he should believe you. He sent Luigi to the lost and found. What is he, an umbrella? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to wait, Miss Quelly. I'm going right to now. And it thanks the Schultz. I'm, I'm got to get the counsel. No, wait, i got to show you where to go. Ooh, that salami salesman. <laughs> Always a spoiler of things for me. I better do something. Rosa! 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 You call me Papa! <laughs> yes, Rosa. We're in terrible trouble. Luigi's gone down to the Census Bureau. Ooh! Everything is so nice between us since the tanks are given. Imagine how he's a feel if he's a find out of what we did. It'd be terrible. Terrible? It'd be a catastrophe. Now, <laughs> right, so you stay here and mind the restaurant. I gotta stop for him. All right, Papa. You promise me you ain't gonna eat, or should I take inventory? <laughs> take inventory. No, oh, you know I'm in a hurry. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> But, Mr. Basco, my secretary has already told you the census was taken last spring. The Census Bureau couldn't do anything about it now. Yeah, but it's, but it's a minute so much to me. Please, nobody's looking to just to take a pencil and mark it down. One more number in the census, huh? And instead of 152 million, 281,159, make 152,281,160, huh? Mr. Basco, take my advice. Go home. The number doesn't mean anything. It changes every day. What? Well, certainly. As a new baby is born, the number is added to the population. That's a fine advice you give me. I'm sure to go home and get the born. <laughs> no, please, please. None of you understand. I'm, I'm, I'm a gotta be counselor. Uh, quiet, quiet, please. That, that's my boss. All right. Yes, Mr. Gordon. Yeah. Yes, I'll take care of it. Do you got a boss, sir? Oh, yes, he's the head of the Census Bureau. Then I'm going to see him. Maybe he's got the power to push me into the... Yeah, I'm warning <laughs> you, you won't get to see him. Why, he's so busy, he doesn't even go out for lunch. Then what does he do, starve? No, no, no. He has his lunch sent in to him. Oh, the... Well, uh, goodbye. No, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you going to do? And that, then, only is not the first time I'm going to make a lunch for somebody. Lunch. Come in. Here you are, sir. Thank you. How much is it? Oh, nothing. I'm, I'm going to give you a free charge. Uh, what? Just to do me one a favor, huh? Push me in a sense. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, say, uh, what kind of a lunch is this? I ordered a ham sandwich and coffee. <laughs> this is a better. That's a pizza and a wine. Oh, you're the chap I was told about. Oh, please, please, taste the pizza, huh? I'm a maker of my supper. Go on, go ahead, the taste. It's a good thing. Mm, well, mm, mm, you're not bad. Uh -huh. See? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I know you're going to like uh, Mr. Vasco, I'd like to help you out, but first of all, I think you're needlessly worried. We tried to count everyone, and probably some neighbor gave us the facts about you. Some of All right, uh, then uh, show me the paper with my name on it, sir. Well, that's impossible. All the papers are in Washington. All right, I'm going to wait till you bring them. You don't expect me to fly to Washington. No, all right, they're going to fly me. I'm going to save up and I'll pay you back for the ticket. No, no, that's no use. If my name is not there, I'm, I'm going to waste everything. I'm very sorry, Mr. Basco, and, uh, and, and thank you for the wine and the... Uh, uh... Pitch. Uh, since, since I'm going to come to America, my biggest dream... Is that someday I'm sure to be American. And always, always be counted with the American. For my part, I would include you, Mr. Basco, but actually the only way to change the national figure would be for President Truman to announce an official proclamation. Huh? Do you think he would do that for you? I don't know. Let's call him up. Uh, <laughs> look, I've got to finish some business. I, I'm sure you're counted, though, believe me. Then, then why we no call up your department in Washington? Oh, no, no. Go on, I'm a chip in with you, half and a half. <laughs> Mr. Basco. I'm going to pay everything. Couldn't be more than $20, and I'm going to get that. I think. No, please. Please, I'm going to want to be counted. 
I'll tell you what. I'll do it. Miss Bliss, will you get me main desk, Washington? Check 5-0 census in Shy Metro, search L, Luigi, B, Basco immediately, and give me charges. <laughs> Mamma mia, you sounded just like General McCarthy. <laughs> He's a wonderful man. You sounded just like him. Oh. And a thank you, Mr. Gordon. You come to my antique shop, I'm going to give you pizza all the time. You're going to like it better maybe with anchovies and a nut, or maybe with the peppers. Not too much garlic, huh? Little... <laughs> well, I... Uh... Ah, I found you. Pasquale, what are you doing here? To keep you out of trouble. Uh, Mr. Sensor's the boss. I hope this little pup squeak is not cause you any trouble. Why? No, he hasn't. Uh... See, he's mean a well. It's just that he's expressed himself a terrible. Uh, now, if you're going li- to... Uh, uh, hello? Yes? Uh, just a minute. I'll take it out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, uh-huh. Yeah, I have it. Thank you. Well? Mr. Basco, you were counted in the last census. Oh, Mamma mia. Come on, Luigi. It's time to go. I'm surprised you didn't know. Your wife should have told you. Uh, my wife? Uh, what's her name? Rosa. <laughs> Rosa. Pasquale. That's all right, Luigi. I'll give her the information. And that's to make you marry the Rosa for the next ten years. Pasquale, you think I'm more like that a picture born yesterday? I'm a stupid enough to believe that. You like it a picture ain't a born yet. <laughs> Sometimes you're stupid enough to believe lots of things. I mean, Luigi can't blame me. It's what they call a wishful thinking. I'm always a wish you would have been married to Rosa. Well, Pasquale. You was a practice of wishful thinking. Well, now I'm going to do it. What do you mean? See this wine bottle? I I'm was only wishing to hit you with it. But now I'm going to do it. I wait for Luigi, my son. Come here, Papa. Wait. And so, Mamma mia, everything is a come out to find. I'm a get a sense of divorce from Rosa, and I'm a still the sing. Also, I'm a didn't a hit the Pasquale with the wine, because he was a sorry, and I paid the for the call to Washington. So now, Mamma mia, if anybody is asking you, the population of America, you can hold up your head and say it proud, because it's in a clue. Your loving son, Luigi Basco, the little immigrant. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they'd like to remind you that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is an ideal treat to get for your whole family. Almost everybody likes to chew gum. And the lively, long-lasting flavor of Wrigley Spearmint is a special favorite that always makes a hit. Besides, delicious Wrigley Spearmint gum costs so little that you can treat your family often without affecting your budget. So, for an inexpensive, whole-family treat that the folks at your home will appreciate, get a few packages of healthful, refreshing Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Mr. Howard. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Demon. Jay Carroll Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Mary Ship as Miss Folding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. Music is under the direction of Lud Rustin. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>